a short video about the battle sheet. This is called the battle sheet. It can be downloaded free of charge from the Peter Pig website. It's just a place for all little notes and jottings. There's no other bookkeeping at all in Western apart from this sheet. This sheet summarises all the information that matters and lets you plan out your attacks, etc. This sheet will help you create the scenario. I'll explain the different parts of the sheet. The top left hand here, these are called the aggression levels. The forces in Western are Plains Indians, Apaches, gunmen, Mexicans, army, posse, cattlemen, workers, townsfolk, settlers. And these are the available aggression levels. So Plains Indians tend to either be very, very defensive or pretty um, offensive or aggressive overall. Take someone like cattlemen, they're more in the middle. They could be more defensive, more aggressive. Settlers are the least aggressive and they're basically very, very defensive with a lot of chance of doing some attacks. But the game victory conditions do compensate people for being defensive. So being the attacker isn't necessarily the way to win. So a player will, before the game will secretly choose an aggression number for his force. So cattleman commander might choose a 15 or a 20 and that's how many dice he initially gets. The top right hand corner, there's the scenery you're allowed. You choose three things from the gene generic or general menu, like a, a wood or a very rough hill, basic things. And the two here that the player's written in, these are his special list for his force. For example, townsfolk might have a couple more buildings. Plains Indians might have a bit more woods and those sort of things. Down here is just a way of counting how many turns you've had, not a great problem. Here, you list how many reinforcements so the number you put here is how big your reinforcements are going to be. So as you lose men, or if you're a very small force, you might get reinforcements. And most people choose about a five. Because if you have to keep rolling for them, a bigger group might take so long to arrive, it's too late and you're all dead. Now over here, you have to make some guesses about the opponent's force. So unlike most games when you arrive, don't get your figures out and display them, because they've got to guess about your force. This is designed to reward commanders who know their enemies fairly well, to punish commanders who are just too predictable. Things that should mirror real life commanders. Now, the top one, if you can guess what the aggression level they're gonna use is, you get five extra dice on the pre-game. If you can guess how many groups they've got, you can get three extra dice. If you can guess within about three how many mounted bases in their force, four extra dice. If you can guess what they mostly are, two extra dice. How many long shooters? Four extra dice. Now, the player just repeats the same plan again and again. His opponent will guess a lot and get a lot of advantage for that. That is important. But these are kept secret so you don't keep your force displayed until you decide to announce your guesses. Now, once we've worked who's attacking and defending, this little table here tells you the sort of numbers you lose. Down here, the only attributes a bit skirmishy is your overall commander can have one personal ability he can be an expert shooter so it'd be an expert fighter as in leading in good combat he'd be righteous to cancel out morale wherever he is personally or a bit gung-ho he's really good at assaulting there's the game setup sequence but use it to help guide them through now at the bottom the players written they chose 28 for their aggression level they got one of the guesses right, so give themselves another two. They got 30 dice to roll, 30. They rolled their 30 dice and got six successes on five or sixes. The opponent only got five successes. The difference is one. The bigger number has to be attacker. Yes, they're the attacker. But because the difference is quite small, there's not going to be that many losses. So all that will happen each defender unit will roll some dice to see what they lose. They get special advantages if they've got some extra veterans, a lot of mounted, raw, etc, etc. And that's the battle sheet. Now, once the battle sheet's used, you could keep them. Most people just throw it in the bin. And they can be printed off on the Peter Pig website. You can photocopy them. Uh, there is one in the rule book as well. 